Hi, this video is to explain how arsenide is transformed into pyrrolight during eutectoid reaction. If we want to study about one particular alloy, we have to draw a vertical line at that composition. 0.8% carbon steel we are now taking into consideration. So we have to draw a vertical line at this composition. Above this temperature we know the phase is austenite. When we cool down, what happens to austenite? When the eutectite reaction takes place. Before that, I want to tell you the condition for eutectite reaction to take place. Eutectide reaction will take place only when the carbon content in austenite is 0.8 percentage exactly and the temperature is eutectide temperature which is 727 degrees Celsius. So at this temperature it is austenite as the temperature decreases the phase is still austenite still austenite when this temperature is reached it is already having 0.8 percent carbon steel and the temperature now is 727 therefore this is subjected to eutectide reaction by eutectide reaction the austenite is transformed into pure light this mechanism is something difficult to understand so for explanation purpose i have taken the austenite grain like this actual appearance is not like this for better understanding i have taken like this let us assume the 0.8 percent carbon is spread like this when this temperature is reached what happens as per the rule allotropic rule austenite should be transformed into ferrite so in a small area austenite is transformed into per ferrite we know very well the maximum carbon content in ferrite is 0.025 that too at 727 degrees Celsius. So, austenite is transformed into ferrite in a small layer. From that layer, the excess carbon will come out and it will be accumulated in the adjacent layer on both sides. Let us assume in this small layer, the austenite is converted to ferrite. So, now this layer is ferrite layer. The excess carbon will accumulate on both sides in the adjacent layers let us assume on this layer now this layer is converted in these two layers are on both sides on both sides the carbon content is increasing and it will reach 6.67 percent carbon when the carbon content in the adjacent layer reaches 6.67 this is converted into cementite therefore while this small layer is converted into ferrite the adjacent layers are converted into cementite so this will be cementite similarly and another layer ferrite is formed and the adjacent layers are converted into cementite. Therefore, it is alternate layer of ferrite and cementite. Alternate layer of ferrite and cementite. This is pure light. The layer will be like this. The pure light is alternate layer of ferrite and cementite. As per the allotropy transformation, the austenite should be converted into ferrite. When the austenite is converted into ferrite, excess carbon in ferrite region will come out. The carbon will be accumulated in the adjacent layers. Therefore, in the adjacent layer, the carbon content is increased. At one fine time, it reaches 6.67. So, the formed ferrite layer and adjacent cementite layer, this forms the pure light, alternate layer of ferrite and cementite. Bye.